And then all of a sudden, she just went up top, fucking wham, it just hit me right in the side of the head. You know what hurt the most was not that she hit me, was that after she hit me, she didn't have the decency to hop back, like, like maybe something was gonna happen. She knew nothing was gonna happen. It's against the rules. So not only did she get to blast me in the head, she then got to do like this UFC talking shit thing in my face, just pointing. Oh, it's brutal. And she started like breaking up some stuff, you know, of course it was all my stuff and I'm just standing there, okay, don't look her in the eye, stand as still as you can, let her calm down. Oh, that's great, that's something mine from high school. That meant a lot to me. <laughs> evidently not to you. It's funny, if I was doing that shit, I'd have a cop with his knee in my back, but evidently you have a vagina, so that makes it okay. I just have to stand here as you break all my shit. I've been battling with my girlfriend a lot lately. Um, she loves to watch the Oprah Winfrey show, and I love to watch her watch the Oprah show. <laughs> and then I wait for Oprah to say something that I don't agree with, and then I take it out on my girlfriend, because I'm a jerk. <laughs> so, Oprah brings out her first guest, right? She gives her this huge intro. She's written a book, she's been in a movie, and she does the most difficult job on the planet. She's a mother. <laughs> so immediately, I look at my girlfriend, I'm like, really? Being a mother is the most difficult job on the planet. How many moms died on ice road truckers last season? <laughs> you know, any moms get washed overboard on deadliest catch? <laughs> now, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but which job would you rather have? You want to scoop crabs up off the bottom of the ocean, hanging off some rusty tugboat, catching that trap to the back of your head every couple of weeks? Or you want to hang out in the sunshine with a couple of rugrats. You know, you can send them to bed anytime you want on some trumped up charges. Yeah. Trumped up charges, yeah, because you want to have a drink and watch The Price is Right. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. No, maybe, maybe it is. Maybe it is the most difficult job. I mean, I thought roofing in the middle of July is a redhead. You know? Yeah, I, th I thought that that was a difficult job. But evidently, these mothers, they're bending over at the waist, putting DVDs in the DVD players. I don't know how they do it. How do they do it? Oh, the way they push that stroller with the round wheels. Yeah, and the baby in there. It's the most difficult job on the planet. Going to war pinned down by a sniper. What a joke. It's a joke. You ever burp a baby and forget to put that towel up there? Oh, there's another shirt you gotta wash, right? Oh yeah, lift with your knees and put it in that machine that does it for you. <laughs> People, any job you can do in your pajamas is not difficult. Sure, it's draining, but come on, man. Being a stay-at-home mom, that's like my dream job. No boss, no time card, no taxes. You're off the grid. <laughs> Hanging out all day, making grilled cheese sandwiches. <laughs> Giving a puppet show, you dress like a dragon. <laughs> then some other adult, some other adult comes home and gives you money. <laughs> yeah. Actually, Nerd Jesus died in the last year, right? Steve Jobs. Yeah, he died, right? I know, I know, a lot of nerds here tonight. I know, you're sad. I didn't get it. I didn't get the big deal they made about that guy. When he died, they were like, he changed the world. That was insane. He changed the world. The world was one way, and then Steve Jobs came, and it was another. What did he do? Somebody, for the love of God, what the fuck did that guy do? What did he do? He told other people what to invent? I want my entire music collection in that phone. Get on it! Right? And then these poor, nameless, faceless scientists gotta go in a back room and figure it out. How the fuck are we gonna get all of this into this? I mean. What year does this guy think this is? This is crazy. This is like Buck Rogers.
dude, my kid has a birthday in like 11 months. <laughs> Steve Jobs just walking by. I don't hear any thinking going on in there. <laughs> just strutting around the office, eating some pretentious fruit like a pear, <laughs> right? Just throwing out ideas. Well, there's another one. There's another one I just came up with on the way to work. I was reading a magazine the other day, turning pages, you know? I like to turn pages on a screen that aren't even there. Yeah, wrap your fucking heads around that, guys! See you in eight years! Where you going, Michael? Big, little, big, little, get on it! Right? And all these people slave away to make his vision come true. And then they have the big nerd fest, right? Down there, Comic Con, and all their nerd mecca. They are all showing up with their acne and their Hulk shirts, limping into the arena, right? Does Steve Jobs go out with a whole chorus line of scientists? No, he goes out there by himself. Sneakers and no belt, like it was no biggie, right? <laughs> like he's, like he's Tesla. Tapping in the atmosphere. I know, this is always uncomfortable. I know, you bought into it, right? That whole advertising, the way they aligned themselves with some of the greatest people of all time. Jesus, Gandhi, me! <laughs> Remember that? Muhammad Ali, John Lennon, this guy! <laughs> How the fuck was that dude like any of them? Gandhi didn't have a sweatshop. <laughs> nah, he didn't have people leaping to their deaths only to get... <laughs> catch a net and get ricocheted back through the window to have to put together yet another iPad. John Lennon didn't have children in his basement pressing those fucking albums. I know, I know. New phone can't fit the old charger. This is your hero. This is the guy. This is what all the silence is about. New phone can't fit the old charger, so then you gotta throw it out, ends up in the ocean around some octopus's neck. <laughs> Do you realize how much sea life is ecstatic that that man is no longer walking the earth? <laughs> That's where it all ends up, you know. Doesn't go in a landfill, ends up in the ocean. You realize that? I hate people who say I don't pollute. I don't pollute. Yeah, you do. You use shit and you throw it out. Well, you think as you put it in like a basket, it just poof, disappears? <laughs> Everything he ever used is somewhere. You ever think about that? Remember that flannel shirt you bought back in the day when you got into Pearl Jam? That's out there somewhere. Probably on some porpoise's face, He's tr trying to get it off. Stupid little flippers. All the fads. You remember rollerblading? Remember that? Everybody had them. We set up cones, we did little tricks, right? One little homophobic joke killed that entire fad. <laughs> What's the hardest thing about rollerblading? Eh, telling your parents you're gay. <laughs> Full-grown adults, dude, I'm not gay. I don't have the cooties. These mean I suck dick. And they just threw them out. <laughs> they end up in the ocean. They're made out of plastic. They can't biodegrade. They just break down to little cubes. Fish are breathing them in. Six months later, you're going out, you're getting sushi, you think you're being healthy, you're eating your own rollerblades. I'm becoming a psycho. I've realized that about myself. I am. I watch conspiracy theory and like slap fights till like two in the morning on YouTube, you know? Yeah, I start like piecing shit together. I'm becoming that guy. I'm like that guy, you know, when you sit there, you ever, you know, you're sitting there drinking in a bar and all, you know, some guy's cool, you're talking about the game, then all of a sudden he's just like, you know, there's no gold behind our, our currency. You realize that? You're like, oh yeah, that's great. Pick up your drink, just fucking walk away. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm becoming. Totally into conspiracy. That's why I think Barack Obama's gonna win their, uh, the, the, uh, the election. I think they're gonna let him win. Because they're in the process, yeah, they're in the process of bankrupting this country, and I think that they need a black guy to blame it on. <laughs> yeah, that's what's gonna happen.